This is the breakdown project that we are doing in the book. It is on page 439. Going through this, make sure you saved it correctly with your last name, first name. Uh, next thing here, we're going to be doing this step by step. We're renaming the sheet seating. I double clicked in it and I go into A3. I want the date 3 slash 31. I could just type 16, hit the enter key. Uh oh. It's showing up as pound signs. Widen the column a little bit. And it shows it there. And we're going to do some arrangements here. We're going to select A1 through E1. We're going to merge and center. Make it bold. And then we'll make that 16. And we're going to be doing this below and below, and I'm going to show you a really quick trick here. I'm just in here. I click on the Format Painter. I click here. I click here. I click here. It Uh-oh, it got rid of the date. And what we could do is right-click, format it as date, and then we could choose this one here, and we have it there. Uh, it didn't want it to be that font though. It was 11 point regular. I just make it 11, undo the bold. So we're going to highlight A5 through E5. And we're going to click on Wrap Text Center right there. And then bold it. This was a little narrower in the beginning. I can just narrow it down again. Now we're going to go into the row 9 heading. I right click inside here. And then we're going to add a new row. We right click, insert, and then we're going to say back floor 132, 108. That was step E. Go to the next page. You can check things off as you're going along. We're going to move the balcony row to the last row. We highlight the row, right click, cut, right click, insert, cut sales. So that is done. We want to make some columns a little bit um, with widths and stuff here. Double click between the column A and column B wet headings. We just double click. It adjusts the width automatically. And then we highlight columns B and C. And we want to make these exactly nine. We click up here on format, column width, type in a nine. Say OK. And we're going to do this for columns D and E. Make it 12. You can see how the text looks weird. We're going to make it 12. You can also go in here and just drag till you get to 12. That is done. Now we're going to do some alignment here. I'm in step H. We highlight B6 through C11 and they want you to align right and then increase indent so it just pulls it out from the margin just a little bit next we're going to be doing some formulas here we're going to go to D6 we want to know the percentage of tickets that were sold and if we see that there were 25 seats, we sold 12, it's about a 50%. So to do that, it's equal the number of seats sold divided by the available seats. And we go tab over. We will do some formatting in a minute. Now what we want to know is the percentage on sold. It's 13 seats. It's going to be a little more than half. You've got to use parentheses to do this. So it's equal left parenthesis, these seats, B6, minus this, 
you can use the arrow keys, and then we're going to divide by, and you can see I accidentally hit the wrong parenthesis, and then I divide by the available seats. We've got that in there. Now I want to make these percents. I highlight these two. I click on the percent symbol. And then if I want to add a decimal point, I go to increase decimal. And we keep that here. And now we're going to drag it down. I click on the align right. And then I decrease the indent. I meant increase the indent as it says in the book. So we go in there. Um, we're going to do another sheet. We need to add a new sheet, okay? Do you see the plus down here? We click on there. That is step J, and we're going to call this formulas. And what we're going to do now. And then I want to fill, make this all white. I want to select all. We click on that little triangle between the A and the 1 up there. And what you're going to do, we're going to click the fill color arrow. And then it says to do here, make it white background 1. There's no grid line showing now. It looks cool. There's other ways of doing it. Now what we're going to do, go back into the other page. We're going to click on the Formulas tab. We're going to say Show Formulas. You could do the Control tilde if you want to. Um, and what we're going to do, we're going to highlight everything here. Just drag down. We all know how to copy. Um, but we're going to copy as a picture. So we click on the Home tab. We click under the copy arrow in the clipboard group and we're going to say copy as picture and say OK. So we're going to click inside here copy as picture. Now we go back into the formulas tab and we're going to say after before that it says, as shown on screen, say OK. Go into the Formulas tab and go into A1 and Paste. You could do a Control v Velcro. Um, now, we're going, we want to print this out. We want it to be landscape. We click on Page Layout. Click on that. It, little thing here to explode this orientation is landscape and we say OK and if we were to print it it'll be this way instead of horizontally now we're going to go back onto the seating tab and you want and you don't want the formulas to show up you can just do a control tilde instead of clicking on the icon whichever one works now last thing here a couple little things here we're on step k we're going to go to the page layout tab which we're still on we're going to go into margins in the page setup menu and it shows different ones there we click on custom margins i usually just explode going here um and we want to make it horizontally. We check that off. And then we're going to go into Print Preview. It shows it this way. We Escape. We go into the Launcher here. I'm now in Step Letter L. And we're going to be working with footers. We click on header footer, custom footer, and in the left section, we want to put the file name. 
that's the sheet name that's the file name and then in the right section we want the code just don't type it in CD you click on this thing here say OK and you would submit this I'll just print preview this real fast this is what it should look like and keep saving your file as you work